Well, hey everybody, Martika here and welcome. So today we are going to be talking about the Annie Cardigan. This is a pattern from the So So Deaf collection with Mimi G. And let me tell you, I am in love with this cardigan and you're gonna see why. So before we get started, I wanna welcome you guys to my channel, whether you are returning or whether you are new here, definitely stay to the end of the video so that you can see more photos of this cardigan and definitely give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you have not. And by all means, be sure to turn those notifications on so that you do not miss a video. So let's get started. Now, before I get into the details, I want to tell you that I needed something for my wardrobe, okay? Something that was going to be versatile, something that I could wear with a lot of different things. And as we all know, cardigans is one of those staple pieces that you can mix and match with a lot of things. Now, what I did not have was a lighter color cardigan like a white or a cream like I'm wearing now in my closet that I could really wear with a lot of different things. I do have maybe one or two, but the style of them just didn't go right, okay? If you know what I mean, if you have those things in your closet that just don't go with too much of anything, I'm going to get rid of those, okay? So before I um, tell you a little bit about this, I also want to mention that if you saw my previous video, I was going to enter this into the uh, Black History Month Pattern Designers Challenge, but I was not able to. So uh, due to uh, different uh, stipulations of who whose designs could be entered. So that's okay. I said I'm going to make this cardigan anyway because I need it. All right. So I have made it. I am in love with this cardigan. So let's get into the details. First of all, for a recap, the fabric that I used, you guys, you guys are going to love this because it's so budget friendly. The fabric that I use only cost me four dollars okay i got this fabric a while back at walmart and it was two yards for four dollars and there's a couple of different things that could be made out of this particular fabric it's like a waffle uh design like a waffle uh pattern in it uh, i could see like a really lightweight robe being made of it or a really lightweight sweater being made out of it but i chose to do this cardigan and i just think it's perfect because when you're transitioning from the summer to the fall or even like we're doing now from the winter to the spring you kind of need something lightweight on those cooler days like right now where i am we're getting like 40s 50 degree weather some 60s yesterday was actually in the 70s which is really a shock but of course you don't want to wear a coat so therefore i went on ahead and i got this done so i d decided to go with this fabric for that reason it's very very comfortable very lightweight and um yeah i just love it so that was the first thing the second thing is is that the buttons on this cardigan you guys the buttons these came from Dollar Tree, okay? Uh, in a previous, I think it was, I think the title of the video was um, sewing, uh, some different sewing items you can get from the Dollar Tree that I did. I will link that video in the description box if you have not seen it. But I found these this uh, container of buttons at the Dollar Tree. And these containers probably have about, oh, I'm going to say probably about 80 buttons in them or so. And that's just kind of approximately, but there are a lot of buttons that these little containers hold. Well, I found five buttons. Now, the the um pattern calls for like three fourths of an inch buttons. These are about an inch and I like the way they look and you can see um, the, the detail. So I like the way that these buttons look. So I went with these and they are about an inch wide and they still work just fine. So the Annie Cardigan is a PDF pattern 
from the So So Death Collection by Mimi G, okay? And um, I will also link that particular uh, pattern if you wanna go and, and purchase that. I do not get paid for that, but I just love sharing good information. So I will put the links if you d definitely need or want one of these uh, patterns. It's a PDF, so you can have it right away. Um, if you have not worked with PDF patterns before, they're really, really easy once you get used to them. You have to print out or get it printed and just kind of do the taping and things if you do decide to print it out yourself and uh, cut out the pattern. But I find them a lot easier because it seems to be less pieces a lot of time in uh, PDF patterns. So I uh, got this pattern from there and I actually got it when it was on sale. So the pattern only cost me five bucks at the time. They were having like a $5 sale and it might've been about a year or so ago, but the pattern still isn't that expensive, you guys. I think it might be about nine bucks. So that's not really bad at all, especially for something you're gonna use over and over and over again. And you can print it if you change sizes or something. So you can reprint it yourself. Now, I have my little notes here because um, I always forget what size I cut out what in because it, it just depends on what it is. So in this uh, particular pattern, they uh, she does put the finished me garment measurements in here, which I do appreciate because it lets you know uh, at what measurements the pattern is going to finish at so you know which pattern that you really need to precisely cut out to fit well. Now, um, I cut out an extra large and that was mainly for the bust area. Uh, I am uh, almost a four, I'm like knocking at the door of a 42. So a large would have finished off at a 41. The extra large finished at a 43. So basically I said, you know what? This is a cardigan. It's not anything that's close fitting. So I know that I wanna make sure that I have the right amount of room in it. So I cut a 43 for the bust area, but then I skipped scaled it down to a, a large, okay? So from the extra large to a large uh, from the bust area and then grading it on down, okay? I did not make, it just did not hit any point uh, precisely when I graded it down. I just wanted to make sure I had enough room in the bust area because it's still, you know, a cardigan and it's loose fitting. So the waist, I still had enough room looking at the waist measurements, okay? Now, a major adjustment that I did have to make to this cardigan. You guys, I'm 5'2", okay? I did have to take off five and a half inches off the bottom, okay? In order for it to hit me above the knee where it needed to hit, okay? Um, if you are taller, you will probably, if you are like really taller, uh, you will not have to take off too much of anything. But I did that before I put the waist, the the uh, bottom band on. So you do want to measure yourself, measure that band, the length of it to see where it's gonna hit. Um, because from what I don't see, I don't see the measurements for like the back of the neck to where it's, it's gonna end the measurements for that. So you wanna measure both pieces to see um, where where you're going to, where you want it to end. Other than that, you'll just have a longer, cardigan itself. Um, if you do just happen to go ahead and just cut this out, just be sure to try it on before you put that bottom band on. Because if you put that band on and it comes out too long, you're going to have to remove that band. You're going to have to uh, remove the, um, oh gosh, what is it? The, um, this part here where your button go i tell you i get on these videos and i can't remember what the name of anything is but you're gonna have to remove the bottom of this if you go ahead and put everything together okay um but if you don't if you if you just wait before you put this on before you put that band on take your measurement measure to see where the end of it is ending uh before you put those pockets on if you need to cut cut okay and that's what i would highly suggest don't put on the pockets don't put on the lower band uh don't put on this this binding uh around here or anything like that before you finish it 
measure, 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 okay? Make sure it hits where you want it to. Now, was this easy to put together? You guys, it was very easy to put together. I would say that if you are learning uh, to work with knits, if you are learning to do buttons, um, this is, it's, it's a great piece to learn on, okay? Um, Instead of three buttons that the that the pattern call for, it calls for a minimum of three buttons, okay? It, it has the three buttons there. I did the five because on uh, when I saw Mimi G's photo, she did five on hers, and I like that look a lot better than just the three buttons. So you can go with three buttons, you can go with four buttons, you can go with five, but just don't go any less than um, than three buttons. If you decide to go without any buttons at all, that is your business, okay? You can also do that if you choose to. It's your cardigan, so definitely make it yours. Uh, one other thing I want to say about this cardigan, I think it's a great cardigan to color block with, you know, uh, maybe make the pockets a different color, maybe, uh, make the body of it, you know, a, a different color, the pockets a different color, the band a different color. I think that this would be really cute in a color block. And if you have, uh, the same pattern in different color knits, fun, fun, fun. And I may do something like that later on with this. Cause like I said, it's gonna get a lot of wear. Um, I love the sleeves to this, okay? It's those bishop sleeves that I love. Very comfortable, you guys. Very, very comfortable. And um, my sleeves did come out too long, okay? I think I might have folded my cuffs in the wrong, <laughs> in the wrong, uh, the wrong way, which made them longer. But what I did, I just flipped it back out as if I was sewing it again, and I just sewed it in uh, a little bit, a little bit closer uh, until I got the the length of it, the look that I wanted out of it. So that was another easy adjustment that I did without having to take everything uh, apart. So. That's pretty much it, you guys. I definitely highly recommend getting this pattern and making this cardigan because it was not only a lot of fun, it's very comfortable to wear. It's very, it's snazzy, okay? Um, very cute. You can wear this out to dinner. You can wear this to work. You can wear this uh, shopping. I love the large pockets. Oh my goodness, you guys know how I feel about pockets because it's something if you don't want to take your handbag, you can put your wallet in your pocket. You can put your cell phone in your pocket and you are good to go. So nothing beats large pockets, you guys, because it keeps you, they keep you ready, okay? <laughs> so that is all that I have. Enjoy the rest of the photos of this cardigan and definitely remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining you guys. Bye-bye.